Hey, welcome back folks, Jay Barino here, gonna be continuing New Avalon, a custom map for StarCraft 1. It's very long, I've been splitting this, and this is the fourth part, it will be the final one. Like I said at the en end of the last video, I decided to uh, split my last recording chunk of this map into two, because it ended up being close to an hour and a half. So without further ado... I'm listening. Oh god. Uh... Hang on. We're in for there are Ultralisks and Guardians. Now here's the thing. I'm thinking I'm listening. Yes. we can drop up here to at least hit the guardians with dragoons and such. So what I'm going to do is unload, and we're just we're going to storm the crap out of this stuff first of all. But then we're going to send my dropships over, pick up the dragoons, pick up Jim Rayner, and then come back. Alternatively, I can just try to storm this stuff. We've got the Light Archon who can probably help us against the Guardians if we can lure them. And the fact that we're on the high ground means that I feel relatively safe. Okay, so let's, uh... Let's just send the dropships to pick people up first. Okay, we stormed right on top of that thing. Oh god, oh god, Light Archon, no. And then storm it again. Okay, wow. Uh, really, really dangerous. Now we just have to kill this stuff from afar. So actually, don't even worry about picking that stuff up. Let's just go and get Jim. Let's just go and get Jim. And we still probably... Well, we won't have space. We'll have to make a couple trips. But we'll be able to kill this stuff once we move move to the ground, and then we could just let one of the dragoons die. All right, Jim Rayner, make your way down here. <laughs> we'll bring two more dragoons as well, just in case. Just in case. Oh, no, wait, no, we don't, because then we won't have enough room in our dropships to move all these fellows back either. Good lord. What a pain this is, because you only get two dropships. I just want to make sure I bring everything with me, because this is, you know, this is a little scary. Alrighty, flying across the ocean again. Don't, yeah, don't go, go through ahead, that. HQ. We're very close to getting Sarah back. I mean, look, she's a hero ghost. Is she really gonna help that much? Maybe, I don't know. I mean, we could be an asshole with dropships and uh, and drop units up and down the cliffs. Okay, load on up. Load on up. Load on up. We're gonna leave the Light Archon up here. We're gonna kill the Ultralisks the old fashioned way. Let's drop. We're in for some chop. Go ahead, HQ. Right. Who are they hitting? Jim Rayner? We'll have to heal Jim Rayner later. He didn't even take that much damage. Let's move on in here. No, no, no. Turn and fight. Who's he hitting? Aaron? Alright, good. Light Archon, you're up. I haven't got all day. Um Do I have enough space? No, I won't. So let's just do this. Sorry, Dragoon. I could have just made two trips in retrospect, but that's fine. All right, Light Archon. Bring me back, Sarah. Focusing energy. Focusing. Ah! Ugh. Where am I? Sarah? Is that really you? Of course it is, Dad. Who did you think I was? It's good to have you back, Sarah. It's been hell without you. Ha, huh, I can imagine. Now please, someone tell me what's going on. Your struggle has been successful, Sarah Rion. The Great Beyond has returned you to this world. You are restored to life. I... I was dead? I remember the Ultralisks, they ambushed me. Then... I set the bomb, and... How long has it been? Eh, like ten minutes. <laughs> Not very long. However, your sacrifice has allowed us passage into Seraph's lair. Her focus is temporarily distracted. We have decided to attempt to rid this universe of Seraph's, Seraph once, and perhaps for all. Oh, well, I'm glad I was of help. 
Now I turn the battle over to you, Jim Rayner, Turin Rion, Sarah Rion, Zahn, and High Templar Aaron. My work here is finished. The Great Beyond will be with you. So long! <laughs> so long! Now we must complete our quest. Seraph awaits. Strap in, okay, let's load on up. Go ahead, oh, I would have had room for the Dragoon. It doesn't matter. Let's, uh, let's head on over here. In, Drop everybody off. We'll make one more trip, and then we'll start going through the gate. Jim Rayner's taking a little bit of damage because he tanked an Ultralisk, but he'll be okay. I don't know if this is designed in a way such that you can only do it with your heroes, or perhaps this is just the end, and we just need to go through the beacon, and then that's it. Let's just grab our other units just in case something really terrible happens. Here's our superhero group. Load on up. My other firebats are dead, and I'm not going to take the time to get more. I'm just going to assume that this is good enough. Those two other firebats, they sacrificed themselves valiantly to get Jim Rayner back to the Protoss encampment. Okay, so, we've done it. It was a little dicey, but we've done it. Let's go ahead and save, and then we're going to send my hero group through the beacon. we got to go, like, one at a time. Or two at a time. We have to move him off the beacon. Kind of a pain. We'll see what's on this island. Hopefully it's not awful. Oh, my God. Okay, go through. The way that this this is triggered to allow units through the beacon is kind of frustrating, but that's okay. Cool. Move off the beacon. Move on the beacon. Come on. Come on. All right, you guys go. All right, we got two Dragoons with us. Last group of stuff, Jim Rayner and Dragoon. Yes, okay, everybody's through. I'm going to save again, because I really do not want to have to do that again. Under no circumstances would I, do I, would I want to do that again. Okay, let's do it. Let's get going. And uh, you know what? We should hotkey Aaron to two, because we want to be using his Psionic Storm. Seems like it would be necessary. Like right now. Firebat survives. Firebat survives. Turn Rion just took a butt ton of damage. Oh, good God. No, oh, I thought, oh, I thought the storm would kill that. We lost one Dragoon. That could have been worse. These large attacks are frightening. We could also cloak with Sarah. Okay, we still have enough for another storm, but not two. Let's save again. Actually, it's risky to save this frequently. I should make a, a rollover save. This amount of Zerglings is fine. I really just need to find my way to the cave. This isn't it, is it? No, that would have been nice. Just asshole. Asshole infested Terrans. Many Ultralisks. Back up, kite him around a little bit. Let him hit my heroes. One goes down, Firebat goes down. Zahn tanking him like a champ. So we're losing our extra units pretty, pretty frequently. So I have to be a little more careful. All right, you just stay here on hold position. You back up. I still have enough for a storm. How many Mutalisks are actually here? That's enough for a size storm for sure. Okay, Aaron, Aaron, please back up. I have no way to heal my heroes anymore. Turn Rion's not looking good. I would say Jim Rayner and Aaron are the no, not even Aaron. Jim Rayner and Zahn are my two remaining heroes that are gonna have to do this. Oh, good God. Okay, this this is okay. I do not, oh god, I do not want to have to backtrack and do this again, though. I do not want to do that. I have enough for a storm, so we're going to have to storm that group. Wherever it was, it's right here, I can tell. All right, get in there and hit the Guardian. Don't lose a Dragoon to a Guardian. All right, back up, Aaron. Turn and fight. My Dragoon's got to take some of the heat right now, because my heroes are not in the best of shape. I mean, I am willing to backtrack and heal my heroes if I have to, but it would take fucking forever to do. All right, I'm going to cycle a save because I do not want to have to heal them. If I will, then I'll just make a cut so that you don't have to sit through it because that would be stupid. This is it. The entrance to the facility is up ahead. I 
I sense a strong presence near. Be careful. Once we approach, we may not have the opportunity to leave so easily. Sure. Whenever you're ready, Captain Rayner. Uh, let's just go for it. Kill them! Kill them! Okay. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Creep colonies are invulnerable. And I've frozen. Don't do this to me. Game. Game. Okay, good. Ha ha ha. You are fools. You will perish now. Will we? Seraf, show yourself. No one enters beyond this point. Okay, Seraph's guardian here. Oh, God! Okay, well, that's why we cycled the save. Son of a bitch. Maybe I should... I... These triggers are taking eight years to fire. I can't do anything. I'm just gonna escape, hit escape, and then I'm gonna load up. Okay, we gotta be a little more careful this time. So, lead with the Dragoons, because if they die, that's fine. This is the entrance, I know. I can't, I, I don't want to hit escape to skip this. It'll screw up with triggers and things like that. I don't want to, I don't want to screw anything up. I sense a strong presence near. Be careful once we approach. Okay, again, I, I really, really would like to try to do this without, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, Captain Rayner, I'm not gonna go back and heal. It's just, it's just too much. It's just too much to do. Kill, kill them! Oh my god! Alright, I will hit escape to skip to skip it. Yep, I get it. Alright, not you. You are melee. Alrighty. So we gotta let these fire. The fact that it's frozen like this to me means that there's a bunch of stuff firing, so I will let it, let it do this. I might just back out and draw this ultralist to me inside the canyon where I have a little more space to maneuver. Seraph, show yourself. That's fine. Oh, God. Hopefully this just doesn't go really terribly. We can sort of kite the ultralist. We do a lot of damage with all our heroes. No one enters beyond this point. I know. All right, let's just run away for now. Okay, now turn and fight. Oh my god, he like three shots. Oh, okay, we killed the Guardian. We have to kill the Overmind. Yeah, sure. So let's move on in. Not you, Rowan, though. Yeah, seems like the Zerglings spawn forever. It's no use fighting the Zerg minions. The energies are approaching infinity. We must destroy Seraph's Overmind to pass through. I am doing that. We gotcha. Ex exactly, that's what I just said. I gotcha. I mean, we do have to... I mean, we're gonna have to kill these. Let's just try to... Kill them as they spawn. It's gonna be a little tricky, I think. Turn and fight. Let's move my ground units up a little bit. Okay, Zahn's in a little bit of trouble. Okay, so we're just gonna kite with him while my other units kill. There we go. We got him close enough that they'll automatically attack the Overmind. And then, we, like I said, I'm just gonna keep sort of kiting with Zahn. I'm glad that it's just Zerglings, because if it was something else, that'd be a pain in the ass. All right, run in a big circle. The, yeah, between Aaron, Rainer, and Sarah, we're able to kill these Zerglings super fast. There we go. The Overmind. It's been defeated. That's damn right. Those Zerg never had a chance against us. Well, they killed us twice, so they did have a pretty good chance. <laughs> Yes, the entrance is clear, but our objective is far from complete. Seraph lies within. Sure. The psionic field around the island has been temporarily disrupted. I believe we can use the transport to return to camp first if you wish. Whenever you're ready, Rainer. We're just gonna go right in, because I think this starts a new map. And if it starts a new map, then everybody should be... should be refreshed. I don't see any reason to leave... When you're ready to enter Seraph's Lair, move Jim Rayner into the Orange Beacon. You know, maybe that was a clue, like, hey, you should leave and go look around, because we could theoretically go find the Light Archon now? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do it. Jim, I want to thank you once more for coming back for me. 
Hey, you would have done the same. Now we got a job to finish. All right, troops. Here we go. There's no such thing as bank data in StarCraft 1, so there's no way... And into Seraph's lair you go. There's no way the game would know how many units we brought in. Besides the fact that Sarah is alive. Like, there are actually two separate maps based on whether Sarah is alive or not. Okay, 2 hours, 13 minutes. I am going to go ahead and just go right into it, because I think this is a small map. Down the twisting tunnels and through the dark abyss, the end of the pit approaches and Seraph alone awaits. Your heroes must survive. What if we find Seraph and it's just like, wait, no, no, I really, I just want to come on your side, guys. I actually just want to be friends. I just, it's been a, the goal of mine. Okay, so let's just start. Well, we're in. Hopefully we'll come back out. Do not worry, Rainer. We will insure it. And you're gonna insure me, Zon? You bet. Now let's go kick the let's go kick the ass out of that seraph, or kick the fuck out of that seraph, whichever. Or shit, I don't know. No Zerg will escape my aim. Seraph's central lair lies ahead. Her energies are regaining strength. We must make haste. Then let's get moving. Cool, cool, cool. As you can see, we're back to near full health. Our dragoons are a little a little wounded. But that's okay. We're gonna leave with Zahn and Aaron, because they can get their shields back. It's a bit of a harrowing sight here. And I guess I'll throw down some saves. This map is very small. Decent amount of Zerglings. Lots of Zerglings. We did fine against that amount, though. I thought about storming, but probably would have killed a lot of my own stuff. Okay, so let's... Uh... This area is sealed. It requires a ghost's key card to be accessed. Can't you pass, Sarah? I sure can. Ah, so we wouldn't have been able to come in here if we didn't have Sarah. Look at that. Well, we'll see what's even in here. Again, lead with our shielded fellows. Okay, only... Oh, I see. So only Sarah can walk up the, the stairs. Do I want to cloak her? I mean, I just saved. I can always backtrack. So only she can be coming up here. Oh, that's nice. The automated turrets are just going to continue to hit me. Okay, what do we got here? Who gave you a Kadaren crystal? Blue, the Game Master. Green, the Protoss Elder. Well, okay, we got that right. I, I was already standing on the correct flag to open it. Okay, I definitely can't get through here with anyone else, right? Yeah, okay. So only she can do this. Hopefully, this isn't too challenging. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold position, kite. Gotta attack these away from the turrets. Yeah, I mean, she's gonna do this herself. Hopefully, there's only this is the only other hallway, because this is not good. We take way too much damage from these turrets. And they're all detectors, so it's not like I could just run past them. Where did you find a Kadaren crystal? The central cave, Sarah's Terran camp. The hidden cave, the central cave. Access granted. Okay, one more ha one more hallway. Oh no, maybe not. We're good. What is the correct combination on Trickster's Isle? It was 3124, so the green flag. And there's a Rhinodon in here. Access granted. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, okay. Hold it. Who are you? I do not threaten thee. Heavens, I wish to help. Oh, thank you for freeing me. The poet. Okay, so Seraph trapped you down here? Yes, very true, that is. Swept away from the light I was, before I could even see the face of his. Here tis dark, silent without a buzz. Defeat Seraph, and I return to the land of fuzz. What the hell? We could use all the help we can get. You won't be a liability, will you? Give me another poem. No, never. I work with ease. Expend with me as you please. Does that mean if he dies, it doesn't matter? Then it's settled. Come on. Let's rejoin the others. So I'm not sure a better way to do this. And we'll kill this Rhinodon. Just because it, it's like a little false flag there. 
So the poet, only 50-50. I mean, floor turrets will kill him pretty quick, but he's, you know, good damage, plus 3-3-2. Three, three, so he'll be a help against Seraph, and it sounded like it doesn't matter if, if he dies. So I'm okay with that. Alrighty, so it looks like we're probably just gonna go up and around and we'll be able to find Seraph now. Unfortunately though, uh, Sarah Rion has taken a lot of damage and I'm not really sure a better way to to check that. Okay, so there's definitely some burrowed stuff here. Let's bait it out. Let the poet deal with it for the most part. Oh god, Sarah, don't. I might just have to leave her cloaked in the boss battle because this is gonna be challenging. On the lookout for burrowed units, I can see some right here. An infested Terran is bad. The poet has already died. The psionic energy is overwhelming here. Seraph must lay just beyond that next door. I didn't save recently, and I don't want to have to do all that again. Let's just do it. The poet died. There's a strong psionic barrier sealing this doorway. I cannot penetrate it alone, but perhaps our combined focus can break it. Rainer, Turin, Zahn, Sarah, gather near the door with me. Seraph awaits on the other side. Fucking asshole infested Terrans. What? Fucking tired of that. All right, then. Okay, we're here. Focus. The barrier is weakening. The door is beginning to open. Just a moment longer. What in the net? Okay, we all got warped in. What happened? Where are we? Whoop, 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 whoop. Welcome to my lair, mortals. I've underestimated your determination. You've successfully thwarted my army of Zerg and dethroned my gatekeeper. Congratulations should be in order, but I have to destroy you first. Seraph, it's not too late to turn back. If the Zerg energies have not corrupted you completely, the light can recover you. Leave this madness, Seraph. Ira awaits all I return. Ha! If this power is corruption, then I will not stop until I as an as a morally bank until I am as morally bankrupt as Zerhul himself. You shall never defeat these Zerg energies, and they shall not cease until all is defeated. Aaron, New Avalon, the planets, the moons, the stars, the galaxies, the universe, realities. Behold! Now is the birth of a new era, a new quantum, a new cool. <laughs> new cool. Cool. Let the immortal reign forever and future be all eternity. The destruction is inevitable. The resistance is futile. Death will be brought unto this and all, and death begins here. Okay. Seraph Alpha. Uh, save. Oh god, this music. I, we, we've heard this many times in the past from custom campaigns. There's drones. A attack the... Oh, it's invulnerable. So what do we really need to do? I'm gonna cloak with Sarah because she's in constant danger. Do we just need to kill the drones? Seems like Seraph Alpha is going to do consistent damage to us. Yeah, let's kill all the drones first. Alright, the, the boss music has stopped. Seraph Alpha has killed one of my... Dragoons. Alright, focus down this drone. Leave me alone, please. And there we go. Okay. Impressive, but your fate is already sealed. The end is near. So we killed the drones. Really was it's really really wants this this dragoon, huh? I'm just gonna leave Seraph or uh Sarah cloaked. Alright, this is this is kind of a joke. How much health does this thing have? Good God, that's gonna take forever. Phase two, perhaps? Okay, focus on, on this one. Okay, so it just disappeared for a brief moment. Some of these might be hallucinations, I'm not sure. I find, just, just figure out who they want to attack and then, and then change your targeting priorities. Yeah, one was definitely a one was definitely a hallucination. All right, more Zerglings. Let's try to kill some of these extra Zerglings before going after Seraph, Al Seraph Alpha. All right, Sarah actually attack him. Just keep running in a big circle. Just keep running in a big circle. He's, he's, I think he's almost dead. This isn't too bad. I, I feel like this is exploiting it a little bit, but it's not too bad overall. All right, go for the Hydralisks. Hydralisk no, or Dragoon no, rather. Lost another Dragoon. Aaron is gonna tank this, or Z Z Z Z Zahn is gonna tank this, no problem. Okay, hit him. 
Zahn is able to tank him pretty well, and we definitely got him. There we go. Your wills are strong, but resistance is futile. There's more. Good God. We lost our other stuff. Jim Rayner back up. Seraph Gamma? Jesus Christ. Is there a better way to do this? Oh, this thing does like no damage. I see. Okay, so everybody just attack him. I think we want to decloak with Sarah. Keeping, holding on to that Dark Templar up till now would have been really nice. Would have been really nice. Okay, there's two, there's three, there's four. So now we want to gather them up and storm because it's going to get rid of... Okay, this one is real. This one is definitely real. Jim Rayner's taking a little too much damage. It really... Okay, yeah, it's just... It always attacks the same person. So we can just run around in a big circle and avoid taking extra damage. Now there's Broodlings. Turn and fight. You gotta try to kill some of these. Kill the Broodlings. And again, this is the real one right here. It's attacking Jim, and Jim is taking a little too much damage. If there's way more to this, then we're in trouble. It seems like they had the... The enemy attacks the same person over and over. So it seems like the Zergling really wanted to kill my Dragoons. This one wants to kill Jim. So maybe as, as our units take a little bit of damage, then we'll be okay. Because the future enemies won't target them. Oh god, Jim. Okay, kill this. Let's try to get rid of Gamma. Come on, Jim Rainer's so low. Kill it! Kill it! Alright, seriously. There we go. Do you believe you can defeat us? Let the Zerg energies ring forth. You, We are immortal. To eternity we shall last. Alpha, Gamma, Omega, for this is the end. Alright, cloak Sarah just in case. Your time is limited. 50 seconds? Okay, we only have 40 seconds to kill this jerk. Okay, hit her. No, this isn't right. There has to be a better way. There has to be a way to kill her quickly. 20 seconds. Maybe we have to stand on the beacons or something like that? 10 seconds. Hold position, hold position. Hold position. One second. I, I truly have no idea. This thing does a... She does a lot of damage, too. Uh, don't make me... Don't make me look up how to do this again. All right, he's going... Oh, he's going for Aaron. Power overwhelming. Does that mean she's going to go invulnerable? Arg, the psionic pulse was too strong. We must heal ourselves at the next available opportunity. How? Heal a hero by stepping on one of the white beacons. You have 20 seconds. Reach okay. <sighs> I see. Okay, so we can heal. We just need to survive this section. We need to survive this section, and then we can heal. So who's she attacking? No, uh, kill the Zerglings. You can decloak. That's okay. Attacking Aaron still. Bump up the game speed. Okay, turn and fight, turn and fight. Kill the Zerglings. Okay, run in a big circle. Oh yeah, we can kite her. Oh yeah, we can kite her. Oh yeah. Turn and fight the Zerglings. Okay. I've done something. Is she just invulnerable now? No, no, no. We're doing damage. I, I don't know what the timer was for. Time's up. Right, right, right. Just keep doing damage. And then we want to heal up our heroes as soon as possible. What? What? Okay, well, Jim Rayner was already really low, so that... Oh, he's alive. Okay. Heal up. 
Leave the beacon for another to come on. Aaron goes down. Good God, this is, it's its sort of annoying. J I saw Jim Rayner die to one of the explosions. That was very strange. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Jim Rayner, run away. Attack the Zerglings, please. Okay, she's attacking Aaron, which means that we can just run in a big circle. Kill the Zerglings, please. Aaron, run in a circle. So I think the idea is the all these explosions happen, but my heroes are already kind of low. Can we heal? No, we can't. We just have to let the explosion happen, unfortunately. Okay, go for the Zerglings. A bunch of the explosions are about to happen, and I don't really know where they happen, so I just have to hope that I'm safe. There's no indication where they will happen, either. No! Okay, I see. Okay, then it spawns, everybody. Heal up. We must heal ourselves. Good God! You have 20 seconds to heal, but she spawns immediately. She spawns immediately. Then what a pain in the dick this is. This is stupid. Okay, all right. I've, I've kept some of these units alive. Please heal, please heal, please heal. Okay, we're alive. Everybody's been healed. So now we're back at it. She's chasing Rowan, Turin. Now it's my turn, she says. Does she, does she heal? Is that what that is? So this is just a pain in the ass boss fight. I'm just gonna run in a big circle like I have been. Let's throw down a save now that we've kind of figured it out. So basically when those explosions happen, you go down to like zero hit points and you just have to scramble for the beacons. But it's not it's not that clear right away, which is why it's confusing. All right, Rion is a little, is he's fast enough to deal with this. So this is good and now we just have to slowly kill her. Okay, next spot. Executor. Okay, now there's a bunch. We're gonna move up and lure them to us so that we can storm on them. Okay, who's taking damage? Not you. Okay, this is the real one right here. So someone's just gotta tank her straight up, and it's right now Aaron. I mean, I have everyone attacking the correct one. There we go, so now it's Zahn. Now there's a bunch of Zerglings, so we want to back out and try to kill some of the Zerglings. Now we have to figure out where the real one is again. Let's storm right here. If that was absolutely worth taking some extra storm damage to get rid of those. Okay, Zahn, taking, taking the heat. I'm going to stim with Jim Rayner to hopefully get this going a little better. She's about halfway dead. Okay, Zahn, why don't you attack up here? Go in a big circle. Turn and fight. Gotta get rid of some of these Hydralisks. There we go. She's back on Zahn again. Let's try to just kite her around. My other units are gonna be doing fine. And we're gonna go back to running in a big circle. She's gotta be about, yeah, almost dead actually. I was gonna say, she's gotta be only have 25% health left. We should get her in this cycle. Hopefully she doesn't spawn Ultralisks or something. I mean, that section where you have to heal yourself, the text didn't show up fast enough saying, hey, run to the beacons. And then at that point, she just instantly kills you. So, kind of challenging. Okay, let's lure her away from the Zerglings. Again, she's she's really focused on Zon. It's programmed so she only attacks one hero at a time. And I think that's very good because that means... There we go. No, the Zerg cannot be defeated. We are immortal. The power is overwhelming. The end, no. This is the end. Death sounds. Yikes. <laughs> Holy shit. Is that it? Yes, Seraph has been defeated. The Zerg energies are dissipating. The life of New Avalon is returning. We are victorious. Yeah, that'll show those Zerg to mess with us. Now I can get back to dinner.
<laughs> Don't worry, Dad. It's been ready since God knows when. Come, let us return to the surface. Let us return home. Rainer turns on and Aaron return to the surface following the defeat of Seraph. The remaining Zerg, confused and directionless, burrowed themselves deep into the planet. The Protoss and the Terrans constructed a new starship successfully without, and without delay. Zon and Aaron return to Ayer to aid in its recovery. Haha. <laughs> Turin remained on New Avalon with many of the Terrans to try to recultivate it back to health. Rainer went on to continue his mission to, com to combat the forces of the Zerg. Sarah went with him. The rest of the suns, moons, galaxies, universes, and entire realities await. <laughs> Finn. Fucking asshole saying Finn at the end of their, their stories. You can't say Finn at the end of, of your mission when you have like a billion spelling and grammar errors. You get the, like that snobby Finn end. All right. <laughs> It's like a really stupid complaint of mine. Maybe it's just guy got frustrated with that boss. Really just that healing section made no sense until I realized, oh, all your units actually, they do explode and they, they're re, they respawned with like two hit points each and you gotta run them to the beacons, but. In the meantime, that stupid asshole infested Seraph chases you around and kills you, so I lost a bunch of times. Alrighty, well that's it. This has been Jay Barino, thanks for watching New Avalon. We'll start New Avalon 2 next time, bye now.